Have you ever noticed that when you use your Fluke 62 Max that you uh, uh, may get low or unusual, unexpected kind of temperature measurements off of polished aluminum bus bars? Well, all surfaces produce infrared radiation, and the 62 Max measures that radiation and uh, converts it to a temperature. Uh, of the, the surfaces that you might encounter, a lot of them radiate very efficiently, like soil, lime, stone, paper, textiles, paint, plastic, rubber, oil, and grease. But there are some others that do not radiate efficiently, and one of them is polished metal, like your polished aluminum bus bar you may have encountered. So we have a couple ways of dealing with that. We have a, a specimen here that has a, a polished, shiny uh, surface, and we put a piece of tape on here to uh, change the emissivity or the, how efficiently the surface radiates. Um, that's one way to, to, to accomplish that. Now, the other thing is that this surface is also reflective, and you may be able to see reflections of heat in the surface, so you, sometimes you will get reflections off of other heat sources. So one way to deal with it is with the tape. The other way is to take difference, difference measurements. So if you have two bus bars of the same material, you can shoot the temperature of both of them, and the difference in temperature will be correct. So we have a test specimen here, a, a shiny polished surface. With, we applied some tape. So we have two different surfaces that are radiating at different efficiencies. So the, the tape surface is reading 109, 110, and the reflected surface is reading 79. Have you ever noticed that when you use your Fluke 62 Max that you uh, uh, may get low or 